hi students let us learn the key concept from logarithms first what is a logarithm so the basic definition let us try to learn if a is greater than 0 and a is not equal to 1 a comma x comma n belongs to real numbers such that if a power x equals to n then x is called log of n with respect to base a the a x n lo vastava sankhyalu a dhanatmakamu vakati kaakurudu alantapudu a power x equal to n aithe x nu a aadharanga n va samvargamanam antaru so for example 2 power 3 we know that it is 8 now the same which we can change into logarithmic form as so log 8 to the base 2 can be equal to 3 similarly 3 power minus 1 which we know that 1 by 3 now so logarithm of 1 by 3 to the base 3 will be equals to minus 1 so we change here exponents into logarithm form let us try to change reverse order suppose log 64 to the base 2 is equal to 6 the same which we can change it into so here the base is 2 so 2 rise to the power of 6 will be equal to 64 similarly logarithm of uh, 27 to the base root 3 will be again equal to 6 this is so this we can write it as root 3 power 6 will be equal to 27 so here based on the definition of logarithm that is a power x equals to n then x can be said at log n to the base a now let us discuss some more laws that is here we know in exponents a power 0 is equals to 1 so from this if you change into logarithmic form so what you can write log 1 to the base a will be equal to 0 a power 0 equal to what can you tell you then in samargaman rupalo raste log 1 to the base a is equal to 0 similarly other way a power 1 also we know that it is a so let us change this also into log logarithmic form then it is log a to the base a will be equals to 1 and also from the basic de definition of logarithm ante manu samargamanam yokka nirvachanam a power x equal to n then we know that x is called log n to the base a if you replace this x here we can get a new law of logarithm e x ni a power x equal to n lo pratikshepinchaga a power x equal to n lo pratikshepistunna chudandi a power x is equal to n now this x is replaced with a power log n to the base a so a power log n to the base a which it is equal to n so this is another important law of logarithm that is a power log n to the base a this is and we have few more exponential laws based on that which we can able to derive some logarithmic class man already munt taragatallo ghatanka nyayalanu telusukunnam vaati ni upayoginchukoni marikonni samargamana niyamalanu kuda telusukunnam so a power m into a power n which we know that which it is equal to a power m plus n from this by applying logarithm which we can say that in logarithms it is equal to logarithm of product log mn to the base a will be always equals to log m to the base a plus log n to the base a similarly from another law of exponent that is a power m by a power n which it is equal to a power m minus n from this we can by applying we can get a new law from the logarithm that is logarithm of m by n to the base a will be is equals to log m to the base a minus log n to the base a and one more important law of logarithm that is a power 
m whole to the power of n will be equal to a to the power of m n from this which we can write another important law of logarithm that is log a raised to the power of m to the base b is same as m log a to the base b so these are the laws of logarithms hope you understand